all-knowing and all-powerful, starting with the elderly wolf uncle chapter 121. Hearing Chen Tian's words, look at these strange plants and landscapes all around. Then think of everything that the few people have just experienced, and what comes to mind at the same time. Could it be? Hunter the speedster was a little shocked for a while, and some thoughts came up in his heart, but he was not sure if it was true. Right at this time, phew, a howling wind suddenly began to blow between heaven and earth, blowing the huge trees around several people to swing continuously. Oh one by one, at the same time, above the sky, a large shadow cast. There was also a sound that resembled birdsong. Everyone looked for prestige, and saw a huge bird and beast with a strange head and membrane wings flying towards the sky. The bird and beast were more than several meters long, and there was not the slightest feathers on its body. This is, Barry. The moment Eren saw this huge bird and beast, he immediately exclaimed, his eyes were round, and he seemed to be a little unable to believe his eyes. The speedster hunter on the side also raised his head, his eyes were straight, and he couldn't speak for a long time until this huge bird and beast leaped over the heads of several people. This is a pterosaur. Only then did Chen Tian take a deep breath and slowly speak. After Hu Yi waited until the pterosaur above his head flew over, he also carried a gust of wind behind him, blowing towards the location where everyone was. Because the Flash and Hunter the Speedster were wearing uniform tights, they were not affected. But Chen Tian, who was dressed in ordinary clothes, was blown so that his hair fluttered, and his robe hunted. You took his through time and space? Quote. After the wind gradually stopped, Hunter the Speedster looked at Chen Tian with a trembling voice, Is your divine speed power already so powerful? Quote. Although he had heard that the divine speed force could go back in time and space, it was impossible to be as relaxed as the teenager in front of him. Without making any adjustments, he directly mentioned the two people and traveled back to tens of thousands of years ago. What? Are we now traveling through time? Barry. When Eren heard this, he immediately fell into shock. Can the divine speed force still travel through time and space? Quote. Although it was the first time he had heard the word Godspeed, he quickly understood the commonality of the existence of several of them. Immediately, I understood that the ability that I had that could increase my speed was called Godspeed Force. He was also shocked that such an ability could even travel through time and space. Barry. Eren was rapidly glancing at his surroundings. He actually traveled through time and space, and marveled at Chen Tian's strength. At the same time, I can't help but think in my heart. If the Godspeed Force can really travel through time and space, then can he travel back in time and change the tragedy that happened to him before? The speed force is so amazing, it's not just about running. Chen Tian replied, with some emotion in his heart. It turns out that traveling back in time and space is such a magical thing. This is also the first time he has experienced such a thing. And after stopping Chen Tian's words, whatever Barry, Alan, or Hunter the speedster are both in a brief silence zero how does it feel in your mouth, surpassing the speed of light is a simple thing. At this time Barry, Aaron couldn't help but glance at Chen Tian and asked, so, do you still have a way to go back now? When Chen Tian heard this, he paused. To be honest, since the divine speed force can travel through the past, then naturally there is also a means to return to the future. But now, he has just gained the power of divine speed. And it was also the first time to travel through time and space. Whether it can return to the original era is not necessarily stable. However, Chen Tian had another ability dimension to teleport. His means of shuttling between DC and Marvel, since he can travel between different worlds, he can naturally shuttle through different timelines. And this dimension includes the dimension of space and time. Even if Chen Tian is not skilled enough to use the divine speed power to travel through time and space now, he can use dimensional teleportation to send himself back to the future stably. It's easy to go back. Chen Tian said slowly. In that case, although the current experience of traveling back tens of thousands of years is very interesting, I still think we should go back now. Barry. Eren breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this. If you go back, of course, you can, but before I go back, I need to solve some troubles. Chen Tian slowly spoke, and his tone was very calm. At the same time, he set his sights on Hunter the Speedster. You were eyeing my divine speed before, right? His tone was soft, and he even had a gentle smile on his face. In addition, what he didn't say was that this speedster would cause a lot of trouble in the future. And the other party has divine speed, even in the super ancient tens of thousands of years ago when various ancient creatures were rampant, they naturally have the ability to survive. Meantime, maybe one day in the future, his divine speed power can also evolve to the extent of traveling through time and space. There is already a potential for trouble. So, Chen Tian was not ready to take him back either. Damn it. Hunter the speedster was also a person with rich experience, and the moment Chen Tian's gaze fell on him, this guy already felt strong hostility. Phew. Without hesitation, the surface of his body instantly flashed a dark blue electric arc. The divine speed force was urged to the extreme by him. Hunter the speedster turned and ran, the dark blue luster burst out, and the surrounding air was rippled in rounds. A brilliant blue luster instantly dragged a long and winding blue trajectory between this jungle full of super ancient tall trees. But in an instant, Hunter the speedster had already rushed out for thousands of meters. And then, a white light flickered in his field of vision. Chen Tian stood in front of him first and raised his hand forward. Burst. Everything happened so fast that by the time the speedster reacted, it was too late to slow down or turn a corner. The yellow-skinned boy in front of him just stood in place. Hunter the speedster seemed to take the initiative to hit the opponent's hand with his chest. Skin. Muscles. Sternum. Lungs. Spine. Instantly penetrated, Chen Tian's hands, which were not stained with blood and were as white as white jade, burst out from his back. You cough. 
Hunter the speedster felt his body temperature and vitality flowing quickly down the big hole in his chest. His eyes were already pupils, covered with dense bloodshots, and he opened his mouth to say something, but was blocked by the blood that gushed up from his throat. Chen Tian slowly withdrew his hand from the other party's chest, his eyes full of indifference. Sorry, I can't keep you. Poof. Hunter Quicker's body softened and slammed to the ground, and the look in his eyes had lost all his radiance, and he couldn't hear what Chen Tian said. Goo. In the distance, Barry Allen watched the other party's fallen corpse, and then glanced at Chen Tian, who looked indifferent, and swallowed his spit. In his ears, echoing the words that the latter had just said in his mouth. Fortunately, I am not Chen Tian's enemy. Barry, Aaron thought with some gratitude. Chen Tian's strength was completely beyond his imagination. The other side, Chen Tian raised his head, and the white arc on his body flashed. Phew. In an instant, he crossed a distance of thousands of meters and flashed to Barry.